Hello Crystals, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about caring angle. So what is caring angle? Why it is present? I will give you all answers about it. So without wasting so much time, let's get started. So if you notice in our body, in the extended elbow, it is not straight but it is slightly deviated to the lateral side. So what is the reason behind it? To get this answer, we have to learn about some basic anatomy of the elbow joint. So basically in the humerus, it have condyles at the lower end, which are medially and the laterally located, which are known as the trochlea and the capitulum respectively. In the ulna, there is a trochlear notch present, uh, which articulates with the trochlea in the trochlear groove and makes a humero ulnar joint and the head of the radius articulates with the capitulum to make the humero radial joint. So as we all know that from the bone there is an imaginary line or axis passes by which around the moment occurs. So from the humerus imaginary longitudinal axis and from the forearm also an imaginary longitudinal axis is passes. So here's the main point come of our topic. So in the humerus medial aspect of the trochlea extends more distally than the uh, lateral aspect. So it shifts the medial aspect of the ulnar trochlear notch more distally. It leads to lateral deviation of the ulna in relation to the humerus. So because of this reason, the angle is formed between long axis of the humerus and the ulna, which is known as the carrying angle. So uh, let's revise it again. So uh, mainly medial aspect of the trochlea extends more distally than the lateral aspect. So it shifts the medial aspect of the ulnar trochlear notch more distally. So there is a lateral deviation of ulna in relation to the humerus occurs. So because of that angle is formed between long axis of the humerus and the ulna which is known as the carrying angle. So the degree of the carrying angle may vary from 8 degree to 15 degree. In the adult male it is up to 11 to 12 degree and in the adult female it is up to 14 to 15 degree. It is uh, more in female due to the wider pelvis. Now which are the benefits of the carrying angle? So it avoids the direct contact between hips and the elbow during walking. For example, when we carry a bucket in one hand, because of carrying angle, it avoids the direct contact between carried load, which is the bucket, and in the lower limb. It also leading the hand towards a position above the center of mass of the weight. Now the other thing about carrying angle. So it is prominently seen when the elbow in the extended and in the supination. And it disappears when the elbow in the extended and in the pronated position and in the elbow flexed position. Now let's talk about some deformities related to the carrying angle. So these are the cubitus valgus and the cubitus varus deformity. In the cubitus valgus deformity the carrying angle increases and in the cubitus varus deformity carrying angle decreases. The cubitus varus deformity is often termed as a gun stock deformity because it is a complication of a supracondylar fracture in the humerus. As you can see in, seen in this picture, this, there is a gun stock deformity which is also known as the cubitus varus deformity. In this picture, you can easily see the difference between the increase the carrying angle and between the decrease the carrying angle. The increase in the carrying angle is known as the cubitus valgus and the decrease in the carrying angle is known as the cubitus varus deformity. I hope you understand the whole topic but let's quickly revise the whole topic. So uh, the carrying angle is formed by long axis of the humerus and the forearm because medial aspect of the trochlea extends more distally than the lateral aspect. So medial aspect of the trochlear notch shifts more distally and result in a lateral deviation of the ulna. 
in the male uh, there is a 11 to 12 degree of the carrying angle and in the female it is up to 14 to 15 degree due to the wider pelvis it disappears when the elbow in the flexed position and in the extended pronation position there is a cubitus valgus and the varus deformities are seen because of increase and decrease in the carrying angle respectively Varus is also known as the gunstock deformity as a complication of a supracondylar fracture of the humerus. I hope it is now clear to you all and hope you understand well all the topic. If you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you can get notified when I upload new video. Thank you, stay safe, stay healthy and please keep supporting.